monologue and the first unboxing on the channel since lockdown began. Obviously now the lockdown is beginning to ease, we will be going back to unboxings on a Wednesday. We are gonna continue the live quiz across on Facebook on a Saturday, so do keep an eye out for that. All the links will be down below. But for the first unboxing, I was contacted about a week ago by BB Boards, who are a company that make display boards or starting points for display boards. And I'll go, I'll explain more once we get into the box. First time I came across display boards was at the Water Bowl about two years ago. And I've seen really simple ones, really elaborate ones. But what I feel BB Boards has done is given you a starting point. But let's get into the box and take a look at the display board from BB Boards. So as I said in the intro, this is the laser cut MDF display boards from BB Boards. I'm best off just opening it up. I've already had a little sneak peek myself, but the first thing that hits you when you do open it up is the strong smell of MDF, um, of cut MDF. So really well packed. Let's get rid of all that for now. Right, so that's that gone. So like I say, really well packed, but the first thing that hits you when you open it is the smell of cut MDF. Kind of hits you in the back of the throat. So the board comes with 18 pre-cut holes, as you can see there, for your models. Now, I don't know if you can see it on there. If I bring it slightly more up to camera, you can see that each little disc has sort of two to three different sizes you can fit. So you apparently you can fit 25, 32, and 40 mil bases on these. So. You can use these for Blood Bowl, you can use them for Kill Team, and you can get a decent sized model. I've got a few models to show you, so I'm gonna show you in a minute how, how to do that, but they can do custom designs for you if the brief is specific. So if you wanted a specific design with extra things on, they'd probably do that for you. Do go check out their Facebook page, it'll be down in the description. These cost 20 pounds, including postage and packaging, um, and they'll do discounts on larger purchases. So what will I do with mine? Now, most of my Blood Bowl models, I've got one here. This is my one of my Skaven gutter runners that you've obviously seen before. The unboxing will pop up in the corner. But you'll see all my Skaven are done with like this grass based. And most of my actual Blood Bowl teams are done this way. They're pretty much based in the same way. So what I will probably do is continue this theme across the entire board. How I'm gonna do that, I'm still gonna have to work it out. So I think what I might have to do because obviously I'm gonna use glue, and the problem with using glue on MDF is it can soak into the MDF. So make sure you use a wood glue maybe, as opposed to using PVA, because PVA might well soak in. I'm gonna seek advice from BB Boards on what they use to stick things down. But what I'm gonna do in a bit of a speed up thing is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to kind of unpack the back of this and start popping your models up on the board. So I popped the board back in and at the moment I've just got them set to 40 mil. So this, this is the 40 mil size kind of base. I've got Lord Felthius here who I've painted recently. Um, and basically they fit real snug, really snug. I mean, I'm obviously holding that at about a 45 degree angle. He's tilting back a little bit, but they do fit very, very well. Hopefully you'll be able to see that a bit better there. They fit perfectly. There's no, I wouldn't say there's any difficulty. I've got a little bit of stuff on the edge of my base. So one thing I would say is don't have anything on the edges of the base. Make sure the base is clean all the way around for them to fit perfectly. But there's Lord Felthius, fits really well. And obviously that's the 40 mil size base. You then use these rings to kind of change the base size. So the first size is this one. So we'll take Lord Felthius out, pop that in there. And obviously that fits really well inside there. And then you can fit this is my rat ogre from my Skaven team. And that fits really well. Obviously I'm trying to hold these so the, the, the model doesn't fall out. The piece of advice I would use is make sure your bases on the sides are clean because and clear because with no basing material on. Obviously my foil felt has got a little bit of base material so it doesn't quite sit flat. That may be a problem for you and models may fall out as a result. So that's one piece of advice I would give. 
but they fit really well. Obviously you can go right down to a 25 mil, which is a, a case of doing, putting both rings in and you can fit a 25 mil in. The only thing I would say is be careful not to lose any of your rings. I haven't done, which is great. Um, and they, once you take the tape off, as you saw in the speed up part of the video, you'll see that they, it could be easy to lose them in the long run. So if you're wanting to use this to have multiple changes of size base, I would suggest looking after your rings and putting them somewhere really, really safe. Most of mine are gonna be on 32 mil because most of mine are gonna be Blood Bowl based. And like I say, once you pop the rings in, they fit perfectly. Obviously there's 18 holes available. A standard team is 16, so I won't use two of them. So I'd probably just refill, refill them with the right sized all, with all of the discs and then just maybe either tape it back into place and leave it, tape it from the bottom maybe. One thing I have noticed is you do have to put the rings in in sequence to make sure they all go in. But I'd probably re refill two of them because a normal team normally just has 16. So I'd probably refill my two front ones. But you could put your tokens that you get from your teams in those instead. So I really like this, I think this is great. I think you could do a lot with it. Like I say, if you were gonna do stuff on the base, I would suggest maybe getting a wood glue as other, opposed to anything else, just because if you use PVA, it may well get soaked up into the MDF. That's a bit of trial and error. But I think they're really great. The only thing that could possibly go wrong is if you lost your rings, and that could be the only thing that could really scupper it if you're wanting it to use it for multiple teams. Like I say, they have done a really cool Ogre version and do go check that out, I'll pop links down below where they've added some scenery and stuff and then painted it up. And that is something you could do. But as I said at the beginning of the video, you can use this as a really good starting point for any team to take it anywhere as a display board. And then you can either put it into your cupboard if you've got a display cupboard or taking it to tournaments. I think I'll use mine as a generic one. I'll probably do the basing that I do on all my models. Because like I say, most of my Blood Bowl models are based the same way with the green kind of football style base. So I'll probably just do that right across the board. And then I can use it for any team at any time. Let me know what you think of this unboxing, this video and everything I do in general in the comments down below. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for when I'm posting. And I'll see you soon.